What's going on guys? We are here at ICAST 2022 at the Guggen booth. I'm here with Isaac, the Director of Innovation, and we're gonna go through a few of the new baits that Guggen just dropped. Really excited about some of them. So I'm gonna have Isaac introduce them, and then I'm gonna give you guys kind of a run through of what I'm gonna use them for application-wise, and we'll give you a sneak peek at these brand new baits. So what do you wanna start off with here, Awesome, Isaac? we're gonna go ahead and show everybody uh, my personal favorite is the Happy Trailer. It has a diamond profile, as you can see. It'll come in six colors. One cool thing about it is, you can get a really good um, angle out of the bait. If you twist it around, it still keeps that same angle. You can fish it vertically, horizontally, it's up to you, right? So it's a symmetrical bait. It has a really good movement to it. It moves a lot of water. Also on the back, it has a very small undercut and a divot in the back to help it move water as well. So it's designed to be on the back of a bladed jig, or you can fish it Texas rig by itself. Spinner bait, buzz bait, yeah, it any looks like a, baits. It looks like a really great trailer bait. Uh, right off the bat, I mean, obviously, you can tell it's going to be a really good chatter bait trailer, but you can tell it's got all the ribbed action to it. So look at, I mean, look at that tail, like Isaac was saying. That's going to give off a lot of action on the back of that chatter bait. And it's a nice little compact size that you can rig right up on there, rip it through grass. Uh, so this one's going to be a really good one for me, especially here in Florida. Awesome. Yeah, we're excited definitely about this one. Yeah, that's a good one. What do you want to go to next? Let's go to our, um, some of you guys know about the blazing worm, which is our um, reeling worm or speed worm, if you will. Um, we came out with now the Love Grub. So it essentially has two blazing worm tails on the back um, that allow you to move twice the water. And also you can use this either as a swim jig trailer, so you could fish it that direction or that direction. So that's why a lot of our baits are symmetrical. So it has really nice ribbing kind of unilateral in each direction. Um, we have six colors in this as well. Right now we're holding a June bug. So you can fish this by itself, Texas rig. If you can, let's take a look at this right here. I want to show you guys like a really cool way of how that those legs move. Okay, so that's really, really cool. So you can imagine that being behind or hooked up on one of your trailers. So I just want to give you guys this good shot. Uh, Christian, I'm not sure how you would apply this to your expertise on the water. Yeah, I mean, looking at this bait right here, this is gonna be a prime punching bait for me. It's nice and compact, but you still got those nice tails, those kicking tails back there, so it's gonna give it plenty of action. But when it's laying right there, that's just gonna slide right on through the mats with that big weight. Nice and compact, but once it gets through there, it's gonna have all the action of that blazing worm with those tails. So I'm really looking forward to punching with this bait, but like Isaac said, I mean, the possibilities are endless with this one swim jig. You can even probably throw it on a chatter bait, right? Get Absolutely. Those legs. Let's take a look at our new Dupe tube. This is the four inch tube. As you can see here, it comes in three sizes, 2.5, 3.5, and four. We're holding the four here. One thing that's unique to this bait is it has uniform, separately casted tentacles. So they're all separate. There's not a random chop on the back. These are designed to be exactly the way they are. As you get on some directions here, you can see it's a little shorter to a little longer here. But one unique feature that you can see now is almost that kind of flanged body that you see in our patented technology that you see in Guggen baits. We wanted to apply it to the tube to make sure you can move the most amount of water uh, when it's going down. And also, like I mentioned earlier, these tentacles are all separately casted. So they're not gonna stick together. They're all their own, they have their own personality. I'm not sure how you feel about this thing, Christian, <laughs> but we got a lot coming yeah, at you. Yeah, I, I don't have base, too so. much experience throwing a tube. It's kind of a northern thing, um, but I know a lot of people in Florida actually flip a tube, and there's gonna be a couple different sizes of this, so I can definitely see this being used for flipping, maybe for bed fishing. I'm definitely gonna snag a few of these to take up to Champlain in the St. Lawrence River and uh, give them a try for smallmouth. The few smallmouth that I have caught have been on a tube, so definitely we'll be throwing some of these into the arsenal and trying to catch some big smallies on them. Absolutely. Well, let's jump into the next one. We got so much happening, but the dupe <laughs> tube, six colors in that as well. Let's jump, we'll save the best for last. We're gonna jump into our new saucy swimmer size, our 2.8 inch saucy swimmer. It does have a unique color, which we don't have here today, but it comes in solid black as well. So that's a new color we're introducing with this bait as well. So it's our traditional saucy swimmer body, nice ribbed body as well, um, nice paddle tail design. Um, has a nice hook slot for you as well to do what you need. Really probably good on the back of an A-Rig, but I'm no expert in that. We're gonna let Christian talk about <laughs> how he would use this actual profile bait in a 2.8 inch size. Yep, well you guys have the original Saucy Swimmer that I've been throwing a lot on jig heads and stuff like that. But like Isaac said, maybe on an Alabama rig, 
it is kind of banned in some of the bigger tournaments so i can't really throw it in those uh, but you guys know the alabama rig catches them everywhere especially when it gets cold out but this nice little profile whenever i'm fishing on clear bodies of water when i need something a little bit more finessey this is going to be good for those smallmouth spotted bass and even maybe some big largemouth but definitely when i go to spotted bass fisheries like lanier i like throwing a little bit smaller swim bait for those finesse fish this is just going to be a really good one to add to the arsenal uh, if those fish aren't maybe biting as well maybe slow it down get on this another thing while we're standing here thinking about it i think this would actually be a really good bait to put on an underspin what do we have the last one saving the best one for well, the last. last one is my favorite one which is the now the guggen slizzard lizard so it's a seven inch bait it has several things going on as you guys may know you kind of see a little bit of that mondo worm tail right with our patented flange on the back you have some Kraken Crawl, Bandito, hybrid type legs. So you actually have five things moving in this bait. One other thing that you may not be able to see from this view is the segmented body. So there's not many things that can do this movement and it's very important to have this movement. In designing this, we thought about on the bottom of the water, right, if you're bed fishing, to allow it to move up like this. Not to get too detailed there, but that's what we were thinking about. And Christian, I'm not sure that's the way you would fish it, but this bait right here is ready to roll. It was really designed to give you a lot of movement, five different appendages, six different colors, and you also can have this awesome action in the segmented body. Yeah, this, this bait looks really cool. This one has been getting a lot of hype. I've been seeing a lot of it already on all the socials. When I look at this bait, what I come to think of is throwing this on the back of a Carolina rig. I don't think a lot of people are really throwing lizards nowadays. It's kind of an old school type bait, but I think Guggen might be bringing it back here. So uh, throwing that on a Carolina rig, that's gonna produce a lot of bites. And also for bed fishing, you know, this with all the appendages and everything, that's gonna, that's gonna really make those big females mad. I'm sure there's some other applications you can use, but those are the two that really come to mind when looking at this bait. But uh, the possibilities are really endless on this one and with a lot of the Guggen baits too. One real quick add in, something that's interesting is I had someone earlier come by here and say, hey, what does this look like? Wacky rig. Uh, Maybe yeah. you can, Wacky, wacky rig, rig or drop yeah. shot a lizard. Yeah, it's the so slizzard lizard's versatile. Yeah, you never know. I'm not sure if you would do it or not. The so. way that the appendages are, I could definitely see you getting away with throwing it on a wacky rig. So, <laughs> a lot of different options for it. But I think that Carolina rig, that that old school style lizard with the Carolina rig, I think that's probably going to do the most damage with this. Absolutely. So yeah, I mean, Guggen, you guys are always leading on the innovation, and you're the main guy behind all that, and really just tying together all the soft plastics been doing a really great job i mean i've been using the plastics on tour they've been holding up great nothing that really even compares to it on the market so you guys have been doing a really great job and happy to see all the new baits that you guys are adding to the lineup we're really grateful for to have someone like you using our baits um, i know you had a really good finish here not too long ago yeah, on the new know. punch the new punch that was when it first came out on the new punch and i ended up winning that harris chain tournament on it so that was that was really good and that new punch that's a killer flipping bait in florida absolutely so we're hoping you can continue your success um absolutely it's designed to have and actually so we designed these baits so you will continue that success so we're grateful to partner with you and get your feedback to help us further innovate and feature Guggen baits and um, in the future yeah absolutely thanks for going over the new designs awesome. with me Isaac. Yeah, no worries appreciate it Christian all right guys the brand new Guggen baits when are they gonna be available Isaac because that's probably the number one question I'm gonna get from my YouTube subscribers well we probably should have them by November 1st at the latest that's when we tend to have them here um, I do believe some places will have them. Some retailers have them available on pre-order. All right, awesome. So you heard them right around November is when these are going to be available. I'm going to try to sneak off with a few of these baits and use them so you guys will see right here on video if I'm catching them on these baits. I'm sure they'll kill them everywhere I go. Um, but we're going to try to catch a few smallmouth on those tubes on Champlain coming up for the next Pro Circuit event.